Hi, my name is Gaten from Cream Motion. In this first video, I'm going to show you how Volumax works, what is a displace map and how to create it, and finally, how to use it in Volumax in After Effects to have a really impressive 3D effect on your pictures. Let's go! Okay, so in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the basics of Volumax and how it works. Um, so, we have a picture here, uh, of course it's a, a two-dimensional picture, and we want to, uh, to have a sequence like this one, giving the impression that we are in a 3D space. And to achieve this, Volumax is going to use a depth map. A depth map is, uh, is used normally in, in uh, 3D softwares, but we are going to paint it um, manually. Uh, in Photoshop or in um, in After Effects, and uh, we're going to tell him that all the white is in the foreground and the black is in the background, and we are going to paint all the values of gray between this, uh, the foreground and the background to tell him that uh, it's going to move that way. Okay, so we are now in After Effects. I opened uh, the Volumax project, and I'm now going to import. Um, I'm going to import the two pictures, uh, the, um, the, photo, the picture of the creek and uh, the displace map I painted in Photoshop. Okay, I'm going to put them in the folder named Your Files and Comps, so everything is um, cleaner here. And now I'm going to go in one Your Picture, first step. So, I'm going to put my picture at this place here. I'm going to scale it. Okay, so it takes all the, the space. Try to avoid having this. This will cause you a lot of problems because you will have black lines appearing everywhere. So just go uh, exactly or a bit further um, in, the, in the picture. So now I'm going to do something because um, the displace map has to be at the exactly same space as your picture. So how do we do this? Um, the easiest way is to do a copy, copy, to go in the displacement map and to paste it here, okay. And now I'm going to use a shortcut in After Effects, uh, very useful. I'm going to take my displace map. I'm going to use the Alt A L T on my keyboard and drag my picture my displace map on my picture and it's just going to replace it. You can use this for your audio projects, it's very very useful. Just Alt on keyboard and drag your picture on the selected layer here. Uh, if you want to paint your displacement map in After Effects, then you, ha you will have to do it here on Paint Death Map and you will have to check the, the video um, tutorial next. Okay, so we have our picture and our displace map at the same position. And that's now, uh, you did the hardest part. Now it's just uh, easy. It's gonna work just right now. You're going to take this controller and move in the 3D space. So you can move around. You can do um, you can use a rotate to W shortcut, okay. And now what we can do is just simply move our controller maybe here, activate the animation on the X and Y keys, okay. I'm going to go at uh, maybe two seconds here. I'm going to move my controller, and that's all. Okay, so this is the basics. Uh, you can do a lot of things. I'm talking to the beginners here. You can just have already a lot of fun just doing this, um, moving your, um, your controller, rotating it. I'm going to just show you to animate something here. Okay, and just in 
a few seconds like this you can have something quite nice I'm gonna do a shorter one so it's it will be more dynamic you can see it's going really fast in the memory here rendering okay so we already have some 3d impression on the pictures okay now I'm going to show you all the um, the possibilities to customize and uh, to customize your your 3d impression here and uh, also the affix uh, you can apply so just um, go on the Volumax controller the, the same guy here that is um, going to say sometimes some some guys say me that this controller isn't disappeared they don't find it anymore just uh, take a look at this guy here he must be checked and another thing uh, always try to be in automatic uh, resolution mode because this project is in 4k so uh, it's going to be very slow uh, if you work directly in 4k so I'm in full HD here so it still works but it won't work in real time in 4k so the best way to have uh, some comfortable um, uh, way to work here to, to have the thing smooth is to use the automatic mode here so now I'm going on my controller in the effects panel here and you will have all the, um, the customizations here and, um, and the FX. You can, oh sorry, like this. So you have the vertical mode I'm going to show you, all the displacement um, customizations. Then we have the, um, the camera um, tuning here, all the FX with the dirt dust, the flares, and uh, we'll finish by the painting FX. So the vertical mode, I didn't show you later in your picture. You can just activate something called vertical frame above your picture. So this will basically give you the, the zone um, which is going to export um, a new picture. So in vertical mode, you have to just uh, check this. OK. Um, it's telling you here vertical mode is activated. To export, go in main comp 4K vertical. So where is this guy? It's just in project. We are actually in this one, main comp 4K. And uh, for the vertical mode, just go in main comp 4K vertical. And we will do our export from this place. But we, we're not interested in uh, doing some export for now. Let's go back and main comp 4K in my effects panel. So I'm going to show you all the displacement uh, customizations. I'm going to put an extreme value of my controller here, something over here. Here uh, I'm going to relax my death map. I'm going to put it at zero so you can see. If I use my death map uh, directly like it is today, it's going to do some artifacts here. So you can kill them uh, by using a smooth, a relax. If I do it fast, you will see how it works. So try to avoid uh, very high values because it's going to be uh, less accurate in the 3D impression. Try to go the lower you can before getting some big distortions. You can see them here. This is too high, this is too high, so I'm going to just raise it a bit. Okay. And uh, 60, in fact, is a, is a good value. I'm going to put maybe 55. So uh, the boost uh, is well named. It's just uh, going to contrast and do some work on your uh, displacement map. It's not going to just going to do a contrast. It's going also to, to um, get a, the displacement effect applied on your picture more intense and contrast your map. So you can go sometimes very far in some pictures, not too far like this, but here I think I can I can go just like this. And now you're going to see that the 3D impression is going to be really strong and always very smooth. Every time uh, I worked on Volumax, I always wanted something smooth. I have a big computer. You guys uh, sometimes will have a better one or a smaller one. 
But I want that I want everybody to have an experience in real time like this. Maybe it will be, it will be slower, but you you will be able to work and to animate on on your pictures. The more effects you will put, you will see later parallax, uh, um, the dust, the dust, dirt, uh, all the color corrections are going to slow things down. Uh, if you put some objects, some text, so try to start by the beginning. Doing your animation before, doing your um, your displacement um, customizations, and once you're you're happy with your animation, how it moves, how the displaces is just looking here, just start going in the other panels. I'm going to explain you now the border relax. I don't use it very often, but it can be useful in some cases. Try to avoid it because it's going to um, kill a little bit the displacement effect. But in some cases it can be helpful. It's just going to work on the borders, on the high contrast um, parts of your displacement map. So we don't need it here. Maybe in some case you will see it will be obvious, uh, just uh, use it sometimes, but not too often. I'm gonna keep it at zero here. The zone protect. Uh, you can see um, a video tutorial um, uh, later. To, I, I'm going to explain you this. The auto detailer. So this is just basically going to add some detail based on your picture on your displacement map. Sometimes it can work great. Sometimes it's going to be too too much. But um, this could be. So this, you have to test this. I can show you what it, it's doing here. It's just going to put some detail. You can see it here. Okay, this is your death map. And this is with the auto detailer. I'm just showing you here. You don't need to go in there. Okay, you didn't see anything. Uh, I'm going to continue. I'm not going to put the detailer. I don't need it. Uh, then we're going in the camera. I'm really proud today to show you this. I spent a lot of time working on this uh, parallax zoom uh, on the parallax left right. So the, the shifting in your picture. This is using your displacement map to create 25 high definition planes uh, and give you the ability to move like this in your picture. So this is gi giving you a, a nice 3D impression. You can do it on sides too. And you can go really far on some pictures. I'm a bit too far now, so you, you can see the limit. But look, look how far I went on this picture. You're really creating a new space here. And you're doing this in seconds uh, and smoothly. Um, it works also with up and down. Okay, um, we're going to con continue with the fisheye. This is basic fisheye. Um, in lots of the, um, the video previews I did, uh, I just put it a little bit because this is going to increase some 3D impression, like if you were in a, in a sphere. I, li I like it very much to increase the 3D impression. Okay, I'm going to put it maybe at 60 here. Uh, the simple zoom, like it's named, is just going to scale your picture as zooming in like a, like a zoom. And now we're going in the FX panel. Here we have some dirt. Okay. So this is going to start slowing down everything. Well, it's, it's okay here. Maybe on some computers it will be slower. Um, we're going then in the dust panel. Dust effect. Don't put it at 1000 like I did here. It's just to show you um, what we're seeing here. Okay. And this is going to work in 3D. Some of the particles, particles here are going to go in front of this hill and some of them are just going to go back the hill and over there back the mountain. So it's not going to be very visible here, but some, when you're, when you're going to animate it, it's going to reinforce the 3D impression. Uh, then we have the flares here. I'm going to put a right flare because the sun is coming from the right. We can see it here. 
Okay, I'm going to put it very strong so you can see. So this is moving in real time once again. And uh, what, what's new in, in the Pro version is you can just select your flare. And you have six of them here. Okay, so just choose left or right, of course. Then we have the DOF strength. So this is DOF, DOF of field. If you do some photography, you know what I'm talking about. This is the optical um, blur. Uh, so here the blur is in the foreground and it's sharp in the background. So you can change your focus points over here. Okay, so now it's going to go in the foreground it's going to be sharp and in the background it's going to be blurred okay um, the fog uh, once again it's based on your displacement map so you can see that it's going to use it to say there is no fog here and there's a lot of fog over here you can change its color Okay, um, and now we have the painting FX. This is slow. <laughs> I I put it here. It's slow because there are a lot of uh, effects applying over here. Um, you will see better results in uh, the full HD. Okay, so this is going to be slow, but it's going to give you an impression of a, kind of a painting with some ink, and it's going to be vibrating. I don't know if you, uh, you say that in English. It's going to shake a little bit. So just test it on some pictures. Okay, so this was the first video. Uh, I showed you all the effects, how to animate, how to move, and uh, check the other videos to go further um, for the advanced settings uh, in Volumax.